In wilds beyond they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed, based instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. This is a section of an unfinished poem called Elegy to Hallownest. It is widely accepted in the Hollow Knight community that Hallownest is interchangeable with the Pale King. But what does this have to do with the lands beyond Hallownest? Well, a lot. So, let me reignite my inner English student and examine some poetry. Now, from the Quirrell comic, we can see that all bugs that naturally come from the lands beyond Hallownest I'm just I'm just gonna call them the wilds so we know that all bugs that naturally come from the wilds aren't burdened with mind but what does that mean well I like to think of them as plants they do what they have to do survive but they don't have a consciousness the Quirrell comic also shows us that the wilds are a horrid place where only the strong survive and even the mindless bugs attack each other this makes sense as in a harsh wasteland it would be easier to survive without the constant feeling of existential dread. Now, when talking about the wilds, we need to discuss the Pale King's Beacon. Before I get into this segment, I'd like to say that these are my opinions and you are allowed to disagree with them, but remember, if you disagree with me, you are wrong and will be sent to the 11th circle of super hell, where you should be greeted by a long deceased Noriaki Kakyoin and forced to not deflect the undeflectable Emerald Splash for all eternity! Um, <laughs> anyway, the Pale King's Beacon is, in my opinion, something worms can utilise to draw bugs to them. Before the Pale King, the bugs of Hallownest had no mind. This means the Pale King can draw bugs to Hallownest even if they live in the wild. In the elegy to Hallownest, I think the line, In wilds beyond they speak your name with reverence and regret, is greatly exaggerated. Wilds Beyond is referring to other kingdoms, but the next line actually contradicts this one as it says, For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. The thing is, acknowledging that there are other civilizations mean that the, means that the Pale King isn't the only stupidly powerful higher being. This is further proved by the existence of Farloom. Now that we have established the entire poem is an attempt by Monomon to get in the Pale King's good books, I'm just going to discount it. Now that we've established Team Cherry's attempt to hide the lore behind a false work of poetry is a load of <laughs> Let's analyse the game and piece together what happens when a bug leaves Hallownest. I think a bug that has been granted a mind by the Pale King will lose all mind and memories of their time in the kingdom. When I say mind, I mean they either go insane or just go back to their basic instincts. Now what about bugs that came from other kingdoms. I think they stay the same. No, r really, I, I do- oh, do you, do you want examples? Well, <gasps> Tiso Cloth, Ella Cornifer, Zelda Zemir, Steel Sword Jin, Mr. Mushroom, The Hunter, and The God Seekers. Whew. However, Mr. Mushroom and The Hunter could possibly be higher beings, so the rules may differ. On the topic of higher beings, I believe higher beings would be unaffected as well because they are higher beings. But what about Hornet? As we know from the Silkson trailer, Hornet indeed leaves Hallownest. So what's going to happen to her? I didn't want to have to do this, but we're going to have to talk about it. No, no, not that. Why would I want to talk about Void? No, um, whether Silkson is a prequel or a sequel. My purple test, what does that have to do with the wilds? Just shut up and wait a second. The debate has been raging on in the community for, a long, for as long as I have been alive. I want the game to be a sequel because it means I get to fight the Hollow Knight as Hornet. So if something is a prequel, then it could mean that Hornet is also afflicted by not remembering anything of her time outside of Hallownest or her time in Hallownest. She never mentions Farloom at all. I'm not including cut dialogue from the French translation. Even though it doesn't matter, I'm still gonna argue why, uh, I'm still gonna argue sequel to represent my boy Deep Doc. Ahem. Uh -huh. Silk Song is a fucking sequel. 
Hornet tells Forge, Forge Daughter I'm lacking my usual tools and asks her to craft replacement. This is important for two reasons. First, because it means she remembers being active combatant in Hollow Nest. Her tool pouch uh, f has the Hollow Nest seal. And second, Forge Daughter makes an improved version of her existing tools from Hornet 2. Spiked balls, but they're spring loaded. The plot has to take place in the second round of the infection outbreak because that's when the leavers return to Farloom. Silk Song has an explanation at the beginning of the game for why Hornet hasn't lost all her tools from Hollow Nest. There is no reason to do this if it's a prequel. There is no explanation for how Hornet lost her um, lost her Farloom tools and skills if this is a prequel exounding on point two. In order for Silk Song to be a prequel, the following things have to happen between the Hollow Knight shell cracking and the return uh, returning to Hollow Nest. The infection reaches Deep Nest, the weavers leave and arrive in Farloom, the cult finds out about Hornet's location, sends people to capture, they make the return trip, which is long as frick, based on the intro cutscene, and the entire game of Silk Song takes place, Hornet somehow finds a way back to Hollow Nest, oh my god, one take! Um, I just want to credit Grover from the Hollow Knight Discord for, for me stealing that section. But if Silk Song is a sequel, I have no freaking idea what will happen to Hornet. But like every other thing that's ever happened, we're gonna find out when Silk Song comes out. Or not, it would just be like Team Cherry to change the base language of the game to finish just to screw with us. But sadly, we may never know what happens when you leave Hollow Nest, as Team Cherry loves to frustrate us. Thanks for watching this video. This has been my longest script yet, with 40 45% of Zote's total dialogue. It is, I actually did the maths. If you disagreed with anything I said, remember, it's all some made up BS. No, sorry, I can't end the video there. I would like to apologise for everyone I offended with my heinous crimes. <laughs> Last video, I said Sharp's nose did not look like a void tendril. But I hadn't seen this gif, so I'm sorry I retract that statement. But do remember, it's all some made up BS.